Larkin Square is the place where we're sitting right now, and it's really become a, just a fun gathering place. This area was established actually in 1827 as Buffalo's first manufacturing district known as the Hydraulics. It's just a, a great historic district that was in tremendous disrepair. On any given Tuesday, there's 30 food trucks. It's a quirky alternative on family dinner hour. All ages coming and, and people just wanting to gather and have fun. So this is Food Truck Tuesdays, which is essentially a food truck gathering. We invite every food truck in Buffalo to come down and even a few from Rochester. Open invite, um, come sell food. We'll provide the seating and the beer and the wine and the good music. Food is awesome and let's face it, food trucks are cool right now. Fourteen years ago we bought the building, the former Larkin Terminal Warehouse building. The streetscape down here hadn't been invested in since World War I. One. I mean, this place was left for dead. It really was. All these buildings, the entire neighborhood. When I first saw this area, it was basically a scrubby parking lot with a chain link fence around it. It's amazing the sort of vision uh, that Howard had. It took uh, a lot of guts, a lot of, a lot of vision, a little bit of money. It was what I would describe as the most unorthodox development project that Buffalo had seen in a very long time. It was improbable. It was met with a lot of cynicism and skepticism. Now this entire neighborhood is just exploding, right? Whether it's office, whether it's buildings being rehabbed uh, into rental apartments and, and condos, and it's remarkable, the transformation. You know, all the buildings around here that we've rehabbed are from, you know, the 1880s up to 1912. It's just uh, a great historic district. And I think there's just that aspect of the Renaissance of Buffalo, and I think people have really enjoyed being part of that. There's a way of participating in that by virtue of being down here and really being a pioneer in the reimagination or the renaissance of Larkinville.